The Nail Sports Center, Big Over College football game preview and prediction on the 2023 LA Bowl matchup between the UCLA Bruins and the Boise State Broncos. Two teams that have had good seasons getting to this point. You got UCLA. This team went 7-5 and five on the season. Bottom line is for the Bruins, this is a talented team. I really do believe that, but they're just so inconsistent. But they've got a chance to finish off the season strong as they take on Boise State. The Broncos are an 8-5 and five team. But they're a conference champion. They just won the Mountain West as a 7-5 and five football team. So for Boise State, though, this is a team that is better than the record shows. They have been hot down the stretch. We'll be going over a full game preview and prediction on this matchup here today. Let's get started with your team trends. UCLA lost to Cal 7-33 to to finish out the regular season, allowed Cal to get to a bowl game. And for UCLA, that's a really brutal way to finish out the regular season and really I mean, down the stretch, especially November, it was a tough month for this team. They lost Arizona by 17, lost Arizona State by 10, uh, beat USC by 18, though. Really random win there, and then lost to Cal 7-33. So the inconsistencies down the stretch have been an issue for the Bruins, but I really, I still think that this is a team that's got potential. It's just been kind of, it's been tough to see that down the stretch for the Bruins. But for Boise State, beat UNLV 44-20. Not even close, and Boise State is your Mountain West champion this season. What an interesting conference the Mountain West has been this season. Really no standout. There are five teams uh, that have had eight wins or more in the conference, but really no standout. I mean, I think we thought UNLV was that team, but uh, Boise State said nope, and they got a huge win uh, to win the conference title 44-20. to This team is 8-5, and five, and also on a four-game winning streak heading into this matchup. It is beyond Saturday, the 16th in Inglewood, and the kickoff is 7.30 p.m. Eastern. That would be 4.30 p.m. Pacific. Spreads going UCLA by two. So Bruins are the favorite despite being a pretty bad team down the stretch. And you look at Boise State, the way this team has played down the stretch, it would make sense for Boise State to be the favorite in this matchup. But once you look further into it and you realize Boise State's playing with their third string quarterback, and I mean, UCLA is without Dante Moore. So both starting quarterbacks down the stretch are both um, out for both teams here, but UCLA is in a better situation uh, having Ethan Garbers than for Boise State either being, sounds like it could be C.J. Tiller. Uh, you also got Fulton in there as well, so we'll see what happens, but uh, UCLA bottom line is the favorite over under 49 and a half, and the FBI is going Bruins as well, 58%. You look at the bowl history for both teams, UCLA has got a more extensive history, but their past three games, they haven't been very good. They lost last season, lost in 2017, and also in 2015 16 and 20 overall boise state has overall had success though they won last season uh they lost in 2019 and then won their game back in 2017 your stat comparison bruins are 91st in points per game 18th in points allowed this is a strong team defensively especially against the run and there's a pretty interesting matchup here you got boise state who is a very strong team in the rushing game, they're sixth in the country in rush yards a game, but they're going up against the third-ranked rush defense in the country. But I will say this as well. When you look further into it for the Pac-12, the Pac-12 is a conference that is filled with incredible quarterbacks and incredible passing games. And so it makes sense to see UCLA 77th in pass defense, but that also means uh, this is a team that, while they're a good rush defense, they're not going up against a whole lot of good running backs. They're mainly going up against a lot of really good passing game so you could probably say it balances out a bit and that this pass defense maybe is a bit better than the stats show and the rush defense maybe is a bit worse than the stats show i mean there's the rush defense still without a doubt is is really good but i don't know if i would say they're third in the country and we're gonna find out when they take on a boise state team that is really strong especially in the rushing game but uh, you look at the boise state as well though they are 61st in passers a game but problem is for boise state I mean, this offense, I mean, they're going to have to rely on the rushing game a lot because uh, the quarterback situation isn't going to be great. You're either playing with C.J. Tiller or Fulton, two quarterbacks that really haven't played this season at all. And obviously you have Maddox Madsen, who's out for the season, and Jalen Green, or Taylor Green, sorry, who is in the transfer portal. So uh, there's a lot of factors in the quarterback situation for the Broncos. But uh, this team is also not very good against the pass. They're 117th in pass defense. And they're going up against Ethan Garbers on the UCLA side, who's been halfway decent when he's played this season. Really, Dante Moore has been a disappointment. But once again, Dante Moore is still so, he's a young quarterback. I think he's a true freshman, if I'm right. So, I mean, for Dante Moore, he's in the transfer portal. He's headed somewhere else. And I think he's got a really bright future. 
even though I mean he was just he's he's too inexperienced and too young to be a full-time starter at a power five program right now so but Ethan Garbers I do think he's got potential and I would say the quarterback situation for the Bruins is much better than for the Broncos at this point uh, and obviously for the Broncos a pretty good rush defense on them as well being 33rd in the country your recent matchups UCLA lost to Cal 7-33 overall just offensively couldn't get anything going they beat USC 38-20 to and I mean that's the one it's wild looking at this team down the stretch you have a Colorado win which was Pretty good, 20 to 16, then a pretty tough loss against Arizona. But the Wildcats, by the way, really strong team down the stretch. They honestly uh, sh could be ranked as a top 10 team for this bowl season. I really do think that based on the way they've played down the stretch. But then two really bad losses in this team's last three games. Lost to Arizona State 7 to 17 and lost to Cal 7 to 33. Put up 14 points combined in those two matchups. That is pretty terrible. But obviously the USC game was a big difference, beating them 38 to 20. So, I mean, this team has been very consistent down the stretch. It's gonna be interesting to see which team we get out of the Bruins for this matchup. Is it gonna be the team that only put up seven points against Cal Arizona State? Or is it gonna be the team that put up 38 on USC and overall looked really good? But for Boise State, I mean, this team has been very consistent down the stretch, beating New Mexico, Utah State, Air Force, and UNLV all in pretty dominant performances. So you know, this team has been one of the hotter teams. You could say in the country down the stretch, considering they won four games all uh, pretty significantly. But you look at before that obviously was a pretty tough start to this season. They start out the season 0-2. Uh, they were they were 4-4 four and four heading into November. So uh, this team has definitely been impressive in, in the way they've improved down the stretch. Your key points, UCLA 7-5. This team has played great games, but also awful games. That's kind of the bottom line for this team. And with Dante Moore gone, it's up to Ethan Garbers. And that's really going to be a significant factor is how Ethan Garbers plays. If he can get this offense going and scoring points, I mean, UCLA has got a really good chance to win this matchup. And uh, it's, I mean, that's the thing for the Bruins. You just never know what you're going to get. It's a pretty unpredictable team. But who has been predictable is Boise State. This team has won five of six down the stretch. They've overall been pretty convincing and in their conference title game with a lot on the line, they beat UNLV 44 to 20. So uh, that's obviously a lot to keep in mind. But also, I mean, the quarterback situation, and that's uh, honestly something with this bowl season that is going to be worse as it's ever been. You got quarterbacks, obviously, who are declaring for the NFL draft. But now you got quarterbacks who are leaving in early December into the transfer portal for other places. And that's uh, really put a big dent into bowl season and the worth of bowl season and not having those starting quarterbacks in there. I mean, both teams are without their uh, lead quarterbacks heading into this matchup. But, uh, but for the Broncos, they're strong in the rushing game. That's going to be the way that they win this game is finding a way in the rushing game. If they can't get anything going in the run, I mean, there's just no way the Broncos win this matchup. Uh, they do have a weak pass defense as well, so that's a way for Ethan Garbers to uh, to click and, and to try to get this offense going. But, I mean, there's a lot of factors in this matchup, definitely an interesting one that could really go either way. And so with that, let's get a prediction for UCLA and Boise State coming up here in the LA Bowl. And in the end, I mean, this is one that really is a coin toss. It really depends on if UCLA is going to come out flat, which down the stretch, uh, that would make sense to happen. But for Boise State being a team that's been – uh, super hot, but they've got their own factors as well. But anyway, I've got Boise State winning this matchup 24 to 21. I think the Broncos find a way. The way this team has played down the stretch, they're obviously really well coached. You couldn't say the same for UCLA. I mean, that's just putting it straight. UCLA is a team that down the stretch has really, I mean, they had a nice win over USC in the second to last week of the regular season, but otherwise this team has been really a disaster offensively. So I just can't count on UCLA uh, being there offensively, I think they find a way to score a few touchdowns, get up to 21 points. But also the way Boise State's played down this stretch, I have a lot more confidence in the Broncos at this current point, even though they are starting their third-string quarterback. So I'm going to say 55% towards Boise State. Really, this is a matchup that could be a, a rare 51%, one that could really be a coin toss. But I do want to take the under. I think we see more of a moderate to a lower-scoring matchup than some might expect and uh, Boise State to cover the spread in the end. But uh, definitely one of those intriguing matchups that really could go either way. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this matchup, your score predictions, all of that. My name's Evan. This is All Sports Central. Stay tuned for more. We'll catch you on the next one.